We're going to be covering the Kansas Jayhawks and the Samford Bulldogs. The first round, Thursday night matchup in Salt Lake City, Utah. Home of the Jazz at Delta Center. Tip-off is scheduled for 9.55 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.55 p.m. Real Time, Vegas Time. The Jayhawks, a check-in 7.5 point neutral court chalk with a game total of 150.5. There's, there's much, much more to this game than meets the eye. There's much, this is much more than a four-seed facing a 13-seed. Uh, an over, you know, maybe sometimes an overvalued four-seed playing a, a hustle, excitable, um, crazy glad to be here, 13 seed. You want to stick around and take in the real scoop, the real poop uh, of this ba- back alley late tip left coast contest here in just one minute. But first, I want to do my job, which is to advise you, at least to help us help you make your experience, your gaming experience, the best it can possibly be. Everything here you need at the at under the wager talk umbrella, everything you need as far as gaming, improving your gaming skills, your handicapping skills, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Simply subscribe. There's a blinking button on your screen on your monitor right now. Hit that subscribe button. Take a minute, hit that button. I assure you, you'll be glad you did. We will be thrilled that you did. Back to the meat of this Sanford and Kansas Metro. I strongly suggest do not sleep on this Midwest region number 13 seed mid-major, the Bulldogs. This isn't your average mid-major that earned a guaranteed spot in the big dance bracket because they've won their soft league tourney. No, they're a legitimate sweet 16 team. A top 10 offensive, sweet offensive team that doesn't just put the ball in the, the hole ugly. This is a top 10 Effective field goal percentage, efficient field goal percentage, and three-point percentage shooting team. They turn possessions into transition sets, off missed shots, unforced turnovers, forced turnovers, steals, and more. Sanford is going to be a big problem for this Kansas squad, the current one. They really are. Acre Acre, the Bulldogs' most talented, capable player, isn't a one-man basketball player show. He's joined by A.J. Statton McRae, Jaden Campbell. Jermaine Marshall, and a guy I really like too, Ryland Jones. There isn't a weak link in this first five for the Sanford Troop. And they're going to be better defensively because that's where their soft spot is. That's, that's, that, their defense needs to sit at the table with their offense and, and their, their balance and, and their pace. Because this tournament offers an excitable moment, moments, plural, for 18- and 19-year-olds that, that get go-go juiced just from knowing they're going to be in the tournament, right? How about playing Kansas? Allen Fieldhouse, Fog Allen Fieldhouse, the Jay- the tradition-rich Kansas Jayhawks, Will Chamberlain. Uh, I-, I can go on and on. That juices a player, too, especially from a mid-major. Now, in, in Bill Self's double decade of leading Kansas basketball, he's never brought a team to the tournament that had 10 losses. And he's always been in the tournament. He's never brought a team, but he's never had a f- higher than a four seed since 2006. Both of those happen tonight. Kansas is a good team, well coached. In the last five years, they've won a national championship. They play a tough schedule year in, year out. The Jayhawks are on a two game losing streak because they don't have any depth. They haven't all season. And now it's basketball's real. It's real basketball. And they don't have their best player, McCullers. Uh, he's their leading scorer, he's their best defensive player. And Dickinson's not healthy. He's got. He's going to play with a separated shoulder. This is a, this is a crazy. It's crazy that they're seven and a half point favorites. I, I, some people are going to say, well, only seven and a half. What's wrong? They're going to look. They're going to do their due diligence. The seven. The seven points tells you enough. Uh, and a normal situation with McCullers is here, and they have one player on the bench. Kansas Bill Self. They're fourteen point favorites, which is too much though, because Sanford is undervalued. They really are. This is going to be a chance for you to watch tonight. Watch head coach. The head coach of Sanford, um, Bucky Ball. Uh, this guy, uh, it's Buck McMillan. Bucky McMillan's his name. If you don't know who he is, Soncon champs from home, home. Listen, from Homewood, Alabama. They're going to go crazy tonight um, because their team's going to win. I think they're going to win. After they listen, they played a pretty good schedule. They lost to Purdue. They got crushed by Purdue early in the season. They followed up with a ten-point loss to VCU, who just won uh, NIT last night in VCU. And they lost by double digits, I think 12. At that time, they steamrolled the league. 
winning their next 17 games. Tonight, at the Delta Center, home of the Utah Jazz, out west, late game, degenerate special. I've got Sanford on the money line and catching seven and a half points. I split it. Your winner tonight between Kansas, the Jayhawks, and the Bulldogs, are the Bulldogs. I, I, I Listen, I like this game. It's a great, great mismatch as far as handicap to value. Thanks for dropping by the studios. Don't forget to tap or hit or punch or break the subscribe button. I'm Tony Finn. See you tomorrow.